Hi, I'm Claudia Vell, a beauty advisor with Sephora in San Francisco. And today I'm going to show you my current products that I absolutely love for this no makeup makeup look. So let's get started. I'm starting with a totally clean face. So before I do anything else, I'm going to moisturize my skin. Tatcha's Pore Perfecting Water Gel is one of my favorites because it's light and it absorbs quickly. Just applying it all over my face with my fingertips. Next, I'm going to prime with the Josie Marin Surreal Skin Balm. I just put a small amount on my fingertips, rub them together, and pat a thin layer to my skin to add a beautiful luminous light and to make my makeup glide on seamlessly. It really works as a moisturizer and a primer. Next is my foundation. I love this Sunshine Oil Skin Tint from Milk Makeup. The coverage is completely natural, so my freckles can show through, which I love. I'm using shade medium with a neutral undertone. The rollerball applicator is really cool. I just draw a few stripes on and blend with my fingers. It's nourishing, yet still lightweight on the skin. Now time for concealer. I'm using Born This Way concealer in shade light medium. I dot concealer underneath my eyes, in the center of my face, above my lip, chin, and brow to neutralize some of the redness there, but also to give a little touch of highlight. You could use your fingertips, but I blend with Makeup Forever's Precision Highlight and Concealer Brush. After that, I just take the warmth of my palms and just press everything naturally in. Next, I'm going to add a natural flush with Marc Jacobs Air Blush in Night Fever and Hot Stuff, which is a gorgeous cherry deep plum duo. To apply, I'm using Marc Jacobs Angled Blush Brush number 10 using a little bit of the deeper shade to give a touch more of depth into my cheekbones, then using the brighter shade at the apples of my cheek to give a beautiful contrast. I pinch my brush a bit just to add a little touch of colors to my eyelids. Now I prep my lips with Tarte Lip Scrub. This stuff is amazing. It's one of my favorite scrubs because it's nourishing while exfoliating. Then I apply Sephora Collection Rouge Balm in Bashful Beige. This shade is perfect. Your lips, but better. And since it's a balm, it's so easy to apply directly from the tube. And I love to blend it with my fingers. I'm sticking to just mascara on my eyes to keep things natural for this look. Sephora Collection Lash Craft Mascara in shade Black. The brush is two-sided to help with length and volume. It's smooth and does not clump so it's great for a no makeup makeup look. For my brows, I'm really loving Bravo Conditioning Primer from Benefit. It keeps my brows in place without stiffness. Next, I go in with Cabrow in shade six, also from Benefit, to fill in any little tiny sparse areas. To set and refresh and lock everything in, I'm using Sephora Collection Beauty Amplifier Set and Refresh Spray. Part of this easy breezy look is no fuss hair. I comb through bumble and bumble, don't blow it, when my hair was still wet and just let it air dry. After my hair dries, I use my favorite hair oil from Way throughout my ends for a beautiful shine. Then of course, my last step. It's always a spritz of fragrance and this is Atelier Cologne Orange Sanguine. It's a lovely citrus that feels light, fresh, and like summer all year round. And this is it. Something that is super quick and easy, the no makeup makeup look. I hope you enjoy. Definitely go in any local Sephora store and there are classes that we provide to help guide you on what perfect products that is suitable for you. And if you love videos like these, don't forget to subscribe. We love to hear your feedback and we'll see you soon.